Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the story of a quadruple murder that has rocked a quiet rural community in St. Catherine. Detectives are trying to piece together clues, hoping to find an early breakthrough into the killing of three women and a man in Crawl Riversdale. Jamela Maitland reports. Crime scene tapes, police, soldiers and confused residents pace this pathway not more than the width of a car in Crawl Riversdale, St. Catherine, early Tuesday morning. We here we just hear say Miss Brown and his family up there dead and government people up there. That's all we hear and we say make we go look. Beyond the fog is this two-story house. According to the police, residents were awakened by loud explosions around 2.30 a.m. and then the mournful cries from children. Reports are that the gunmen allowed the kids to leave, but the police wouldn't share the details. We know that um, there's a mother and a daughter among the, the persons deceased, and we also have their helper as well as his spouse. They were all staying at the house. We gather at the time of the incident, there were some children at home, but the children were not impacted by the situation. The victims are 45-year-old Kerryon Higgins McGraw, her mother, Dorothy Higgins, Diane Johnson, the helper, and a man only identified as Kevin, Miss Johnson's partner. According to the police, the intruders gained entrance from the back of the home. The house sits on a large property with CCTV cameras. The family has a farm there. However, TVJ News learned that they also operated a business. There were gallons of bottles found inside the home with labels rub up, herbs, oils, among others, to treat with high blood pressure and ailments. Usually, this particular year of the division is usually quiet. You know, rural community. Um, only one and two incidents of you know, period of lasting we have in this part of the division. Residents have described the family as kind. The owner of the house died last Friday. He was reportedly ailing for some time. Three of the victims killed were taken care of him. The fourth, his wife, returned to the island on Monday following his passing. Well, me forgot our work and couldn't go. I'm a system weak, as you know, we're not used to them kind of thing I were going last night, you know. It's strange, this strange to a community. Because we only hear them things up on news, we never know how to reach for foot. It's why the police are urging anyone with information to contact them. At this stage, something that you might believe is insignificant insignificant right. can be very very important to solve in this case so there's an appeal that persons who have any information just share it because we know that at least three persons who committed this crime are out there and we want to catch them as quickly as possible Jamila Maitland TVJ News no, this